What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be doing a desk setup tour. And as you can see here, this is my desk in all its glory. Um, don't judge, some of the cabling and management and stuff like that isn't the best, but this is a highly functional desk. Um, I think everything on here uh, goes well together. It's kind of like a nice little theme, maybe a little retro going on. Uh, definitely would. Uh, because of that theme, you're going to see a lot of Grove made, um, and maybe some other little cool things that you don't really see on desk setup tours. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So we're going to come over here, we're going to start, we're going to go left to right on the desk here, and you're going to get to a little tour of what everything is. So, uh, right here we've got a Grove made, uh, laptop stand. This is, uh, wood and aluminum, and it's got some felt in here. And then I have an M1 uh, 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, and this is decked out in a wood Wii, which there's a video coming on this if it hasn't already just landed here. Uh, wood case, it's made out of walnut, so you can see here we got a little theme with wood going on, right? Um, pluggable uh, speakers, so I got one on each side. Probably need to update these, but they've been fine, so uh, they don't really match the the motif here that we've got because they're black but uh, you know they work and uh, I'm sticking with them for now until I can find some other solution uh, also up here a little, kind of out of the way is a Grove made headphone stand and on that I have the um, AirPods Max headphones uh, sitting on that and they do have some uh, case on them here like active case but kind of protects them um, so we'll go on down to here this is the brains of the operation right now this is an OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock and uh, this thing's amazing um, again you know don't shame me on the cable management here it's not 100% you know I could tie it down and make it uh, a little prettier uh, but for the most part, you know, I've got the cables pretty much under control. You know, they're they're tucked up under the desk. So uh, just back here, because I take this and undock it, so I got to have that kind of loose because I always take the laptop and run. Um, but this this dock, maybe I should just do a, its own video because this thing is amazing. Uh, it's got so many ports on the back. It's so fast. Uh, with the Thunderbolt 3, it's got high powers, pow high powered ports. It's got Gen uh, 2, um, you know, like USB 3.1 ports. I mean, this thing is a beast. It's got SD card, micro SD card. Enough. We can go on. It's a whole video. Uh, here, this is actually I've already done a video of this. This is a game changer. And if you guys don't have one of these, you should. Um, this is the uh, the Kingdom Kingston workflow, and my gosh, this thing. It's so cool. These little modules, they just come right out, you know, like this. This is like uh, two micro SD cards that I can put in this, and it just connects for USB-C. I'll put a card up here for this because I've done a video on this, and this thing is just phenomenal. Um, this speeds up your workflow so easy. I mean, look at this. I just got, like, uh, you know, USB-C thumb drive laying here. I got a micro SD card. Uh, I've got an SSD uh drive here I've got a SD card in here and I can just transfer data between all these file uh, you know these these uh, media formats uh, you know easy right it's just it's just amazing and that's all on the MacBook Pro right so it's just connected through this dock and then the MacBook Pro sees it and it is good to go uh, moving on uh, this is a Grove made desk mat. Uh, I think it's the medium sized one. Again, you're going to see a lot of Grove made because they obviously just make such high quality desk gear. It's it's a no brainer. Um, keyboard wise, this is the Osio. So this is the actual, I think this is also a walnut uh, wrist rest. And this is their retro classic. Um, it's like a typewriter style keyboard. And I really really like it. it's got backlit it's wireless um, so it is just a, an awesome retro look um, highly functional you can program this to do Mac or PC um, which is really good and you can actually use it wired too if you want you can use a cable and, and wire it up so you've got a lot of different options with this thing um, and you can have multiple uh, Bluetooth you can have like three things right here just hotkey so I can have like three different 
machines that this Bluetooth connects to and I can swap really easy right there. So uh, just good stuff. Now, probably wondering what this is, so I just swapped it out with a blank. This is a, uh, let's see, a, mm, some kind of monk, right? Uh, let me pull it out here. It is you monk o monk I don't know. Uh, but uh, this is like a, like a daily organizer. Um, so I put all the ones I've finished underneath and I kind of hid my tasks, but you know, it's got like a today list and then a next. So you basically can have this on deck and then the today. So you get like several different kind of cards and it's just a quick little organizer. It's made of wood um, and it just, it's a great way to start your day and keep your tasks list in front of you and organized. Underneath this, there's a little motion detector here. We'll get to that. Um, I just kind of have it hidden right now. But uh, yeah, we will uh, show you what that motion detector does there. I'll just put it back out. Uh, this here is uh, A-Logic. This is who paints this. This is the A-Logic wireless charge pad. Um, this thing is great. Um, you can charge two different things here and then even your Apple Watch. Uh, connected to it. And I apologize for the shadow there. I've got overhead lighting behind me. Um, so that thing, use it all the time. Uh, this is a BenQ uh, smart light bar. So it's up here on my monitor. Uh, and this thing is cool because uh, I'll turn the lights out and you can see how it kind of illuminates. And I can change the temperature on this one because it's like I think maybe the Pro or, or some model like that. So it actually has a controller down here. Uh, that I could uh, adjust brightness and temperature and all sorts of stuff. Um, and uh, just an amazing light bar. It really helps with eye strain uh, when you're looking at your monitor there. And uh, especially if you're in a dark room, um, it relieves your eye strain because it kind of takes away from the monitor brightness, right? Um, then just under here, I've got like, you know, just stuff I swap out like AirPod Pro, this is like a wood case. I think I have uh, carbon fiber, some of my favorite iPhone cases and AirPod Max uh, cases that I've probably done videos on in the past. So they're just under the little like Grove Made shelf that uh, um, I can just grab and go and swap out. Now as we move on, uh, again, Grove Made, right? Yeah. Uh, this is their mouse pad with a little pin holder. This is actually their pin. Uh, and they have another little pin holder that goes like this and none of this by the way is sponsored by Grovebane I paid for this with my, all my own money uh, But hey Grovebane if you're seeing this and you want to sponsor yeah, feel free feel free um, So nice mouse pad leather. It's black leather. It's got a little wood uh, inlet here for the pin and this here again This is a heavy-duty. It's got some cork on the bottom uh, Maybe some walnut or some kind of wood in here for the pin stand if you wanted to not have it in here Because sometimes I use the Apple pencil. I do bring my iPad over here. So sometimes I swap out uh, Then we've got this here. I think this is like from Delta IO. This is a super cool wrist rest But it's really for the palm of your hand uh, kind of a new thing instead of having this like this kind of thing for like you know, not getting a uh, carpal tunnel or something. This thing really relieves your wrist. And then I have a uh, Logitech G602 mouse, which is uh, a really nice mouse. I really have no problems with it. Uh, and then this, uh, well, let's keep going. I just got a cup holder, uh, again, wood, nice little, nice little coaster. Uh, this guy right here, so I love watches. Uh, you've probably seen some of my watch videos. Uh, this is like uh, Holmes and Hadfield um, watch box. It's amazing. Uh, not only can you store some of your stuff in here, uh, I got some watch bands, necklace, uh, some uh, wax cologne. And there's the actual travel pouch for the Delta Hub IO uh, bracelets. You know, whatever else you want to put in here, some coins, cash, whatever. It's just a nice little organizer on top of that. Plus, it keeps your watches in view looking pretty uh, by the way that one yes I have one there that's the crown jewel uh, it's just upstairs in the bedroom because I wore it this weekend because I went to a nice event so I brought out the crown jewel for that um, so yeah Holmes and Hadfield awesome awesome watch box okay so that back here also I don't want to there's the other twin for the pluggable and then back here this is I think might be a Satechi uh, like a little, you know, 
power hub where I got USB and type type A, type C, it's plugged in. Uh, so it gives you more ports if you wanted to, and then just some accessories that I grab and go when I travel, some stuff. Uh, so got that so I can actually plug in and have like a little mini charge station back there. And then under here we got some SSD drives, so like a Samsung T5 and a T3. Um, always good to have SSDs handy. Uh, those are in the go. And then this is just some uh, uh, extra cards for the, uh, this is called analog. That's what that little box with is called. So uh, the Ugmunk uh, analog, these are just extra cards. So when I run out, uh, I can actually just grab some more cards and throw it in the box for organization. So good to go there. Now let's go ahead and move up to the shelf. Now what I have here, this is just a light I found on Amazon, but uh, I do have an Edison, this is a Philips Hue, so this is really kind of cool because uh, it's an Edison bulb but it's a Philips Hue, so it's smart, so you can actually dim it, uh, you know, and control it, and uh, so I, I kind of like that. And I'll turn all the lights off and turn that guy on here, uh, so you get like a night uh, look at what my setup looks like, because another crown jewel um, so this is actually handmade by a gentleman in the Ukraine, uh, goes by Petro, and hopefully I didn't butcher your name Petro, because if you're watching this, uh, shout out. Um, so he does Nixie clocks, and does an amazing job with Nixie clocks, and this is one of the latest models that he has, it's got a motion detector, so one, uh, you don't do these, you don't use these vacuum tubes all the time, it'll go off, and it only comes on when, uh, there's motion. And what he's made is also this actually, uh, you can replace these bulbs and they just unplug and then you can put a new one in and you're good to go, right? Uh, so I love this thing. This is an amazing clock. Hopefully it looks good on the camera. Sometimes these tubes like to flicker on a camera. If it is, these are not flickering. Uh, they are solid, but then they rotate out to show like uh, different things like time. Uh, and stuff like that, dates and, and things like that. So you can program this too uh, with this little knob in the back. So if you remember that little sensor down here, that is a motion detector. This comes on when it detects motion and uh, we're good to go. Uh, moving on again, this is a Grove made shelf and I also have the little drawer unit that it comes with. Uh, but we got an LG uh, ultra wide and then again the BenQ bar. And I also have a Logitech uh, camera, webcam. Everyone has webcams these days. Uh, this BenQ bar is phenomenally awesome. It just mounts on about any monitor. Uh, you can clamp it on and it's the screen bar plus and it just looks great. And we'll see what it looks like uh, in the dark here. And uh, again, just a LG. I don't know the monitor. I'll put, it, I'll put a link in the show notes what monitor I've got here, but um, it's a nice monitor, so you can actually program it. There's some software you download, and you can actually make multiple screens on it. So you've got like multiple monitors in one, so that's a pretty kick butt. Uh, my extra coasters, uh, my MagSafe, again, Grove, Grove made. This is a wood MagSafe. Now the actual MagSafe piece is the uh, piece from Apple uh, that I did buy, but you do put this in this little stand, and then you can just mount your phone on here and it's magnetic, hopefully it's there, and we're good to go. And you can see it's charging. Uh, then other little things here, uh, I have, this is a beast. This is the DS419 Slim Synology NAS. And yes, this is actually a full-blown NAS. It has two LAN ports, uh, gig ethernet, and I have uh, right now only three hard drives in it, as you can see. Uh, LAN one is the active, and then I've got, um, three, I think, Kingston solid state drives, I think they're a terabyte each uh, in this. And then like my time machine backups, everything goes to this, this, this bad boy. Uh, and you can put it on external storage, uh, all sorts of stuff. So um, very, very cool, very, very small footprint. I mean, look at this, I can, I can palm this. That's how light this is. And it's a full-fledged NAS. Again, that's from Synology. Um, so you cannot go wrong with Synology uh, drives. And last but not least, uh, the drawer. So I'll just pull this out. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything too confidential in here. This is again the Grove made uh, drawer for their little shelf system and, 
Yeah, I've got some extra screws for something, some little flash drives, SD cards, pencils, love the black pencils, um, some ink replacements for some pens, business card holder, again wood, uh, some MagSafe wallets, uh, some adapters, uh, and then looks like another SD. This is the Samsung. This is the latest Samsung uh, SD. This is the T7 with the fingerprint sensor in it. So um, got that in here as well. So you know, just a lot of little odds and ends that uh, you know keeps you organized. And if you have to come in here and uh, grab something, then it's it's handy and right there. So I am going to go ahead and pause the video. This is my desk. This is where I actually do my work, my editing, uh, and all sorts of stuff. So um, let's go ahead and sh turn out the lights and I will turn on and well, you'll get to see at least the BenQ uh, and uh, we'll do the, uh, the Philips Hue Edison here and uh, we'll be right back guys and then we'll wrap up. All right, guys, here it is, a little bit darker. Um, I do have a big screen up here above the desk that uh, like the Xbox goes to and stuff like that. I've got a Philips Hue uh, light strip behind it, so it kind of illuminates the back wall and also uh, eases eye strain. Um, you can see the um, BenQ uh, screen bar plus. Look at that. That, that, is, that is it. That's what's illuminating this. And again, you can come down here and you can basically just like, you know, change it's let's see I'm dimming it out here so you can control that uh, and then the Edison bulb uh, again this is a smart bulb and it's controlled from an app uh, on the iPhone so I can come up here and I can basically say you know turn off uh, as you can see it just went off right and then I can dim it I can change its brightness turn it into a nightlight all sorts of stuff so here's like night nightlight let's see yeah kind of dims it this is diamond. You can do all sorts of little things here. Woo, that's bright. That's bright. Let's dim. All right, we'll shut it off. Um, so that's kind of it, what it looks like at night. Uh, I could go a little bit further over here. We've got uh, um, a wall-mounted fireplace. This does put out heat, but right now it's just in uh, ambiance mode. So basically it's just a display. Uh, you know, got some lighting, some vintage Star Wars posters. Uh, and you know, if you wanted a little more tour, I can of the actual man cave. This is just the desk setup video that I've been wanting to do for a little while. Uh, I don't mind the mess in the closet there, but uh, do have other uh, desks in this man cave. So if you wanted to see more, put it in the comments below. I'll try to have links to this stuff. There's a lot here. I'll try to find some links and throw in the show notes. So if something caught your eye. Uh, and you want to look a little more about it or buy it for yourself, you're more than welcome to. I will try to have all the information. And by the way, this is just an Alex uh, desk setup from like Ikea. So if you're wondering what the desk is, probably should have started with that, eh? Uh, but if you stuck around long enough for the video, now, now you know. Instead of putting a comment down there like, what desk is that? This is one of those YouTuber things. You buy some Alex drawers, uh, two sets. You got one over here, one over here. And then this is actually like a kitchen counter. Uh, at Ikea. I'll put a link in the show notes of which one it is. It just kind of looks like a nice walnut wood uh, desktop. So it's just sitting on those Alex drawers and um, yes those Alex drawers are full but they're very organized, right? So uh, just to give you an idea and if you want to go in further and see what's in the drawers let me know. But for instance like this is all GoPro stuff um, in here. So I've got a nice case for all the GoPro accessories and all the different things here, you know, from cases, waterproof cases, to some of the old GoPros and the tripods and monopods and all sorts of stuff. So, you know, if you wanted a little tour of what's in the drawers, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to like say, no, you're not going to look at my drawers. That sounds bad. Anyway, guys, check the show notes for what I can put in here for information. If you like this video and want to see more, give me a thumbs up, comment below, feel free to share, and as always, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us as we get to grow uh, and uh, maybe get a little more uh, recognition out there. So help us out, help the channel. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, have a good one.